Hello folks, this is Ben from Zerian Software. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to set up our brand new built-in function that allows the Zebra mobile printing functionality to happen directly within the form. Uh, so before this functionality used to happen, um, when you're on the uh, record view here, you, you, know, you tap and hold on you tap and hold on your record here and then you can print it out. Um, but we had a few customer requests to be able to uh, print out from directly within the form. So I'm going to show how that's set up. So how this really works is when I hit the print now button, what it's going to do is it's going to execute the print function and print you know, directly out of the Zebra printer. So to set this up, let's move over into the form builder here. We want to have a single select element. Um, and here is the most common way that folks do this. So we add a select element, I called it tap to print. Um, if I go into my, op my option list manager, I'm gonna see that there's only one option assigned, which is print now. Um, you could change this to say whatever, you know, whatever you'd like it to say, um, but once you click it, it would execute the print function. So uh, that's how you set that part up. And then we're gonna have a new field, a helper field. I just used a text field in this case. It can be any field, preferably you'll hide it afterwards. Um, but what we're going to do here is we're going to write some JavaScript. So we're going to say, if tap to print is zero, which that means that they've selected the print now option or the first option, first and only option, it's going to execute this function here. So this function is uh, spelled basically outlined like this, iPhoneBuilder.Zebra.Print. And then we're going to open up our parentheses here and we're going to be able to pass in uh, up to three variables. In this example, I'm only passing in um, two variables here. The first is the quantity. So num that's the number that you're going to, uh, to the number of copies you're going to be printing. Um, you could print, if you want to do five copies, or you can even pass in um, a data column name. Let's say you have, uh, you know, quantity as a field on the form, you could pass that in. In this case, we're going to do one. And then here is going to be our uh, print file name. So in this case, this is, we've called this test.zpl. So when you're working in the Zebra um, designer, when you name and save your file, you want to match this. So test.zpl is what I used. Um, and then those are my two variables I'm going to pass in here. Then if not, I just had an else statement in here. Um, this isn't really needed um, since we're going to be hiding this, this thing anyway. So uh, what we're going to do here is when you open this form, I'm just going to hit print now and you'll see you have to choose a default printer. So how you do that first is you go back to uh, the settings, you go to external hardware and you're going to choose and set a default printer uh, to, to utilize. So let's go back into here. Now the moment I hit print now, what it's going to be doing is it's going to start the printing function on my printer. You may or may not be able to hear that on the background, um, but what it does is it, it prints out that copy and then it's, uh, it's available there. So if you would like you know, deselect it and hit it again, it would print it again a second time. Um, but typically, you know, once you hit it once, um, it prints out and that's the, the main copy that folks need. So again, this is how you set up something like this. Um, again, it's iPhoneBuilder.Zebra.Print. Um, this does not have to be triggered by a select element. It can be triggered by any other types of elements or any other JavaScript. Maybe when, uh, when some condition is true, uh, fire the print off. Um, it can be, you know, it's, it's universal. It can be configured in a variety of ways. So thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us.